Hello everybody watching this video, my name is Russell Spock and welcome to Pokemon Glaze. Now, this is the new series on the channel since um, Q just ended up, and um, as you can see it's a Pokemon game, and I'm a really big fan of Pokemon. I know a lot about Pokemon and I'm really excited to get into this. But as you can also see, as I'm sure most of you have been able to tell, this is not a normal Pokemon game. This is Pokemon Glaze. This is a fan-made ROM pack um, of Pokemon Emerald. So basically it's a new game, new story, new all fan-made. Everything's fan-made, new difficulty, all that stuff. Completely fan made, and I'm really excited to get into it because this Pokemon Glaze is a. Sh it's something I watched a little bit of years and years ago because this is an older ROM hack. This has been around forever. I'm sure they've updated it plenty throughout the years, so it's really different at this point. But I watched it a little bit years ago, and I know it's considered one of the best ROM hacks out there. So it's just something I've wanted to get into, and I thought would be a lot of fun to get into as well. Let me get into the options real quick. Let's go fast speed, battle scene on, sound, all of this. Frame. What frame do we want? I always like two. Po I've always enjoyed the two frame in Pokemon. Um, I think we'll probably go with that too as well. I don't know why I like two a lot, but I'm pretty sure it was. It the frame for probably Gen 1, right? That's probably what the frame used to be. Alright, cool. Alright then, I think it's saved. Let's check real quick, just in case. It's saved, right? Yep, okay, thank you. And, um, new game. Let's just get into it. You know, I'll explain a little bit more in a bit. But let's start to get into and open it up. Hello, who are you? Who, who, who may you be? Hello, welcome to the Tun Tunod region. I think it's Tunod. Um, my name is Professor Willow, but most people know uh, just call me the Pokemon Professor. This is what we call a Pokemon. Oh, a Tortoise. Okay, cool. This world is widely inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon. We humans live alongside Pokemon at times as friendly playmates and at, uh, um, and at times as cooperative workmates. And sometimes we band together and battle like others like us. But despite our closeness, we do not know everything about Pokemon. In fact, there are many, many secrets surrounding Pokemon. To unravel Pokemon mysteries, I've been undertaking research. That's what I do. And uh, and you are? Okay. Are you a boy or a girl? I am... I'm pretty sure I'm a boy. I, I, I'm fairly certain that's right. Alright, what is your name? Uh, we will just do... It doesn't fit the entire Z-Rock spot, so we'll just do Z-Rock. Uh, okay, cool, cool, cool. But... This, um, I'm just, I'm just excited. I just love Pokemon, and I'm excited to get into this. I really do enjoy just Pokemon in general, and this is going to be a lot of fun. Okay, so it's Z-Rock then. Yes, yes it is. It is Z-Rock. Okay. Oh, you must be the Z-Rock that I've heard so much about, right? Oh, you heard about me. You, you heard about me? Okay, cool. Um, alright, are you ready? Your very own adventure is meant to unfold. Take courage and leap into the world of Pokemon where dreams, adventure, and friendship awaits. Well, I'll be, ex I'll be expecting you later. Come and see my, me in my Pokemon lab. Alright, great. Why in the world are we in the middle of a... <laughs> why, are in, why are we in the middle of a forest? Okay, that's interesting. But, something else I had to say, I wanted to say before... Where's the music? Is there any music? Oh, wait, hello! Hi, well... What are you doing in a place like this? I wasn't I wasn't expecting anyone to come. I will take you back this once and I'll explain best I can, okay? Don't be scared. I'll make sure you get back over safely, but the trip isn't fun at all. What happened? Who are you? Okay, there's the music. Thank you. Okay, this is the right place. Um, this is, but how? Okay, I have a dialogue. I'll explain later. Somehow you managed somehow you managed to slip from your universe to mine. It's a good thing you appeared so close to me. So close to me, or there'd be big trouble. Now you now you've been there. There's nothing to stop you from slipping through again. So be careful and uh I'm sorry, I have to go. I'll try to explain later. Bye! Okay. Okay then. Um You okay? That's a bit strange. But as you may be able to read in the um the title of this video, I'm making this a Nuzlocke, and if you don't know what a Nuzlocke is, a Nuzlocke means, um, if your Pokemon faints, it dies, it, you can't use it again, um, if you, um, you have to catch the first Pokemon on each route, so you, if you run into Route 101, and you, uh, run into a patch of grass and it's a Pidgey, then you have to catch that Pidgey, and if you can't, you don't get the, you don't get the choice to be able to catch any more Pokemon on that route, if you catch it or not. As well as you have to nickname all your Pokemon, or, uh, to give more of a personal attachment to it or whatever, to uh, make it more difficult. But, it's not gonna be a normal Nuzlocke, because I do want to finish Pokemon Blaze. And I know with how difficult this game can be, finishing it is not always gonna be the easiest thing in the world. So, even if I do lose the Nuzlocke, we're gonna keep going. We're gonna keep doing the Nuzlocke, basically... 
We're gonna, keep, we're gonna do a Nuzlocke, and if I die, I'm gonna use whatever Pokemon I can. And if I'm completely out of Pokemon, I'll either just revive one of my Pokemon and kind of reset the Nuzlocke almost a little bit, or we might just turn it into a normal playthrough at some point in time. But I do want the challenge of a Nuzlocke because I love using. I love. The, I love how Nuzlocke will give you a whole bunch of diverse Pokemon that you can use throughout the course of the game, and I just really, really enjoy. Um, you know, just. I love the challenge of a Nuzlocke, and I'm pretty good at Pokemon at this point in time. Hello, uh, you, my mom? Yes, Zirak, um, good to see you're up and about. Your dad and I were just about to go to the store in the Choco, uh, town to get a few things. I have a dad in this game, that's not usual for a Pokemon game. Oh, and I almost forgot, Professor w Willow called earlier and asked, uh, that you be, that you come by his lab today. You better head over right away. It's bad manners to leave someone waiting. Okay, I will. I love you, make sure you stay safe. Okay, well... Uh, like I said, it's, um, no, we're just gonna, we're, I wanna finish this game, or I don't know if the game's even finished, so I'm sure it is at this point, but I just wanna go as long as I can, and, um, no matter if I actually lose a Nuzlocke or not, but I wanna play to a Nuzlocke as close as possible with wanting to finish the game. I think you guys understand what I mean. Okay, hello, who are you? Hey, the scientists are making great strides in the field of parallel realities. Isn't science incredible? Yes, that's also another thing in every single one of those Pokemon games where they talk about it. There's somebody in there talking about science, but parallel universes, not usually a thing that they talk about. Most regions only offer three stars, but Melissa will let you choose from five. Okay, great, cool. Which will you pick? I don't know. But as you can see, actually right below me, I have uh, slots for uh, our team. I will try to put images and the nicknames of our Pokemon in those um, slots when we can. Uh, it won't, that might not be the best, because, uh, like I said, I don't really have any tools to do it with. This is just, like, what I can find and scavenge across, so it's just the best I can do. Uh, is this Professor Willow's? Yep, that's Professor Willow's lab. Luckily, we live right next to the Pokemon lab. That's great. I love that. That's very convenient. So, how you doing, Willow? Uh, ah, uh, you... Should I do voices? I'll do a little bit of a voice, but I don't know if I'll do too many voices. I, I watch plenty of Pokemon on there, too, and I know voices are definitely people use them. Ah, oh, you made it. I was getting worried. You shouldn't show up. Uh, I believe that... I'll do a... You know, just... I won't do a full voices, I don't think. I believe that you just got your trainer's license yesterday, so I'm here to give you your very own Pokemon companion. This machine has five Pokeballs in it. Pick whichever you want. Make sure you choose carefully. This will be your new best friend after all. Okay? Cool. So we're just straight away picking the Pokemon. Okay. Nuzlocke doesn't start until you get Pokeballs, by the way. Um... Turtwig, Chimchar, Piplup, Shinx, or Ryolu. Who do I want? Okay. So it's the Gen 4 starters plus the Shinx and Ryolu. Ryolu. Now, Piplup is definitely my favorite out of all of them, but Ryolu is definitely really good on his own as well. But obviously, getting to a Lucario is super difficult. So I'm just going to go to the safe bet and I'm going to go and pick up the Piplup. Are you sure you want to choose this as your starter Pokemon? Yes, I do. Okay, attain the Piplup. It seems excited. Would you like to give your Piplup a nickname? Yes, I do. Okay, I'm going to call you Emperor, because you're based off an Emperor Penguin. Especially, um... What? What, <laughs> what do you call it? To? What? No, I'm blanking now. Okay, of course I'm blanking. I know... Like I said, I'm a little rusty on Gen 8 out of all the generations, but I know everything beforehand. Emperor... Uh, how do you spell Emperor? <laughs> Let me check that too, because that would not be a great thing to misspell. Emperor... Okay, yeah, it's simple. Um, I thought so, but I just wanted me to be sure. Um, but Emperor, like, this, I believe. Okay, and we can always go to a nickname changer, a name raider, uh, you know, we need to. Ah, you picked up Piplup! Uh, ah, you picked up Piplup. I was always a special fondness for Piplup. For Pipl oh, yeah, I have to do a little bit more. I usually give you a Pokedex, but I just gave my last one out a few days ago, and I haven't received any more. I will have... I have a friend called the Inventor who lives in Choco Town. I believe he has a spare Pokedex or two. Would you mind seeing him? Okay, I'll go and meet him up. If your Pokemon are feeling weak, feel free to talk to the aid of the healing machine. Safe travels, Evok. Thank you! Okay, so no Pokeballs yet, so yeah, like I said, the Nuzlocke does not start yet. Try to figure out how these work, but I can take a little break. Would you like to, you know, hold? Yep. Alright, let's see if this works. Wait, is that what you said? Do you not know? Okay, it was a completely says Everything seems to have been happening. Okay, did you not know that if that worked or not? Could you have, like, killed Piplup right there and the Nuzlocke ended, like, just immediately? Or, you know, just general death for a Pokemon super, like, out of the gate? That would not have been that good. Can I run? Potentially? Maybe? Possibly? Um, I don't think so yet. Alright. Well, uh, so, what is going- wait, what route was this? <laughs> 
I, I, I'm not paying attention whatsoever. Took a closer look at the map. Oh god, that's a big map. Okay. Well, we got two regions to explore right now, so that's cool. But yeah, do we not have the running shoes yet? Really, you're not gonna give me the running shoes immediately? I'm sorry for doing this, I just wanna see what route it is so I can remember. Okay, is it this the turning point? Yeah. Okay, Glenwood Town is the starting town. Springside Path, okay. I wasn't so sure if it was like, Route 101, you know, if I pe catch a Pokemon at some point, I, ju I just want to make sure I remember which routes I actually um, took or not to uh, be able to see. Now, um, what is going on down this way? I love the flowers. Okay, there's literally nothing there. Florin Cave? Was that what it was? I really need to start paying more attention. Okay. Pokemon Sanctuary. No entering without connection. We aren't supposed to enter here without Professor Willow's permission. I thought we would have gotten his permission. Okay, well, we went the wrong way. I thought this was the way I was supposed to go to Chocolate Town, but I guess we're going this way. Okay, then. But yeah, I'm just really excited to get into this, because like I said, I'm a really big Pokemon fan, and I just genuinely enjoy everything Pokemon. And I mentioned this... I'm just going to keep mentioning it. I did watch a little bit of this years ago, but I have no memory of this game whatsoever. The only thing I really remember was what this guy looks like, the main character. The character that you play as, the boy sprite. Um, but other than that, I barely... There's no memory. And I think, if you guys want me to, I can play a lot more Pokemon games in the future as well. Because I, re uh, I really enjoy Pokemon. Excuse me, young man. Uh, excuse me, young man. It seems like there's quite a ruckus down this route. My eyes weren't as what they, um, what they once was, unfortunately. So I can't really tell you for sure, but I thought I should give you a heads up. Thank you. Uh, you okay? Force Passage lives, uh, lives just spawned here. It's got wild Pokemon, so be careful. Okay, cool. I don't have Pokemon on- Pokeballs on me, right? That's not a thing? Okay, bag. Just making sure, because you never know when they slip stuff in- in your bag. Uh, okay, that's a bit weird, but saying it that way, but okay. Dag, um, go on, shoot, let us pass. Oh, Pikachu ran into our parents! Hola! No, we scrapping now. Hey, Pikachu, quit harassing my parents and let them through. I will. Alright. Uh, Pika Pika- uh, what? What? The Pikachu set? Of course I have- I've got the red scarf. Why do you have a red scarf on? Of course I pick the water type. They have to go against Pikachu first and foremost. Oh, level 2, okay. Emperor! Come on, do your thing! Do your thing, buddy! Alright, fight pound! Yes! That is how we do! Oh, only three shots! Oh, you got a Thundershock! Never mind, I was gonna say only three hits to take you out? Okay, only- Don't paralyze! I think Thundershock can paralyze. Don't paralyze me! Okay, there we go. Only three shots, that's all that takes. And you have to hit me four times, but you decided to lower my attack for no reason. Whatsoever, because that is probably the worst move you could ever have done. Okay, Emperor gained 20 XP points. I wish that would have leveled me up, but I obviously it's a level 2 Pikachu, so of course it wouldn't. Uh, yeah, Pikachu, whatever. I don't care what you gotta say. Okay, Z Rock, that was fantastic. You're an amazing battle. I had a feeling Professor Willow would be giving you a Pokemon, so me and your father got you some presents for your journey. Here you go, this is my gift. Running shoes! Yes! Thank you! That was the best pair of running shoes I could find. I hope you like them. If you want to, run and just hold the B button. They're great for speed and travel. Your, um, your dad has a gift for you as well. Okay, what do you have? I'm not that good at getting gifts, but I thought you'd use one of these. It's very useful. EXP share? I will definitely take that. That will help so much. I also got you new batteries for your clock. Do you have any- Do you have the time? Do I have the time? What time is it actually? Six? Where is- Uh... Oh wait, was it accurate already? No, it wasn't. Okay. Um, oh god, how far am I gonna have to swing this thing? Let's go to PM. Yes, there you go. It's 6.16 PM right now. Um, I don't know if I'll do actual time. I might have to switch it at some point just because um, you never, the Pokemon you run into are completely different. Okay, I went way past that. Alright, there we go. 6.15. I don't think this is night- is this the correct time? Yes. I don't think this is nighttime Pokemon, I don't think, and, you know, watching it at night time is a lot more aggravating, so I might have to switch that clock around at some point. Alright, thanks, Z- Alright, thanks, Z-Rock. Uh, we have better head home now before that crazy Pikachu comes back. Listen, now that you have your very own Pokemon, why not challenge the gym leaders of t uh, Tunad? Just a thought, but, uh, but having go while traveling makes the journey that much more exciting. If you remember correctly, there's a gym in Ocean View City. Safe travels! Thank ya! Alright, just get out of the way. I just want to keep doing my thing. Alright, Pokemon. Who's in the grass? Nothing's in the grass, apparently. Okay, coming through! Who are you? Alright, you going- Why'd you stop- Wait, why'd you stop at me? What was the point of that? Hey, you there. I heard that you had a Pikachu around here. Have you seen it? Yeah, I just scared it off. What? Grum- <laughs> Grum- uh, In that case, who are you? My name's Yurath. 
Uh, well, my name's Percy, and this is my partner, Cyndaquil. Since, since we missed that Pikachu, how about we battle instead? What do you say, Cyndaquil? Alright, well, I'll smack you over the side of the head. What? Uh, whatever. Uh, we both fired up, so let's battle. Okay, I will have to try to remember these voices, because I will not whatsoever remember these. Okay, hello, Percy. You look like Gary with orange hair. Okay, Cyndaquil. I wish, like I said, I wish I had, um... Water type move. Oh, I'm not healed up either. Okay. Well, I am at a severe disadvantage. Watch me white out immediately. That's gonna be messed up. Pound. Yes. Oh, he crit! That's how you do, Emperor. That's how you... Oh, he crit too. Okay. Um, no. No. Do I have a potion? I do not. I'm sure... Really? I'm gonna white out in the first battle that I have that's not, like, a wild battle? That's messed up. Alright, pound. Yeah. Thank God I don't have Pokeballs yet. Well, Zerok is out of a usable Pokemon. Zerok waited out. Alright, that's a great start to this. That's how this works, I guess. Alright, I'm in bed. Okay, I gotta go this way, really? Alright. Well, let me heal up before- well, I'm healed up now, because I pressed in bed. At least I didn't lose any money, it looked like. Did I really just lose my first Pokemon battle? How pathetic is that? I know there's a wild gunner before, so you can technically say that's my first Pokemon battle, but we all know better. That's that that's just me being trash. Alright, then, cool. Alright, am I gonna run into Pokemon this time? No, I'm not gonna run into Pokemon this time either. Alright, Percy, you're gonna get it. I'm just gonna speed through this text because we already know what you just said. Uh, yeah, whatever. Just get it off. Whatever. Grumble, my name's here. Yep, okay, cool. Just get through it, please, quicker. Yep, alright, cool. Send it, okay, yep, whatever you, whatever you say now. Alright, come on. Let's do this. Alright, uh, Percy. Alright, Cyndaquil again, and now I'm gonna beat you. I'm gonna beat you senseless now, alright? You got- you understand me? Alright, Leer. Alright, that's not gonna work. Cause I'm gonna crit you right here, and you're not gonna crit me. That's how this- oh god, no. That's five hits. Oh god, stop lowering my defense, hold up. Uh, don't tell me I'm gonna have to level up before the first battle. That is such like a- okay. Okay, that doesn't just have great break, break, break. Okay. Okay, tackle? No. No, wait, hold on. Are you serious? Ta no. I lost twice? How do you lose twice in the first battle? Okay. Piplup, you need to start getting better, dog. Sooner rather than later. Let's just, like, level up and I'll fight him. Alright, let's see who our first encounter actually is in, um, this game. Because I don't know any of the Pokemon on this route. A Sandshrew? Okay. I don't have any Pokeballs, so I can't catch you, but I would totally take you if I ran into you the first time. That would be so cool to have a Sandshrew. Crit of, that was a crit? Oh god, maybe that wouldn't be cool to have a crit. Say it's true. That's, that's what you do with a crit. My goodness, I get your three levels lower than me and I'm a starter and you're a Sandshrew. Come on! Like, seriously, you can do a little bit better. 26 XP points. Great. Alright, let me run back. I will heal up and um, I will now fight you again when I can... <laughs> you know, it'll be fair this time and I won't be an idiot and just, like, really bad at Pokemon. Okay, well, well we're getting to a wild battle first, so what else is in here? Just another Sandshrew. Okay, I'm just gonna run away from you. Uh, there's no point in me fighting you right now. Okay, a full healed up Emperor that's level 6 is gonna take down your Sandshrew Quill like it's nothing. Oh, 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 we're back. Okay, I accidentally somehow messed with the ROM, I guess. I don't know. Probably didn't mess up the recording. I mean, I don't think it would have, but you know, you never know that kind of stuff. Alright, let's battle you and take you out like you ain't nothing. You ain't nothing. You hear me? Alright, Percy. Third time's a charm. Alright. Percy ja Percy- isn't Percy supposed to be like water type? Isn't that like supposed to be the thing? Is Percy Jackson, you know, all that. Like, you missed an opportunity there, game. You know? Percy really should be, uh... What's your name, Percy? You should, like, no, a single person. Especially not white kid. Just being honest. But, alright. Pound! Yes! Yes! Pound you- No, I was gonna say pound you out, but... You know, that's a little bit weird, but... You know, you know what I'm saying. You know what it is. All right, pound again. Tackle. That ain't gonna do squat. There we go. That, even though that doesn't help half my health, and he leered me three times, which isn't actually that bad. That's where Emperor pulls through that defense. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Oh, I need to check his nature. I need to see what uh, kind of uh, Emperor I got. Holy smokes! Okay. Got my 200 bucks. Uh. Wowzers, you're tough. You'll definitely uh, be a worthy rival for me. Since that Pikachu's gone, I'll have the Ocean View City. See you around, Z-Rock. I don't want to be your rival. Just being honest, I really don't care about you. I don't know if you knew that, but you just kind of came out of nowhere and started fighting. Sentrit, 
Please, God, don't let me get a Sentry. <laughs> I do not want a Sentry. Please, let me get that Sentry. I really don't want that. Oh, God. Okay, that could be awful. Um, but let's heal up, and then we'll start to make our way to Ocean View City. Um, so how are you doing, good sir? But yeah, I... I don't know any of the Pokemon, I don't remember, like I said, I really don't remember any games from that little bit I watched, so it's like completely new experience. Why are we doing that again? Okay, thank you, just get out of the way, please. Okay, um, well let's start to make our way to Ocean View, and hopefully, wait, is there an item right there? Yes, there is. If it's a Pokeball, I'm not gonna count it. Uh, that's personally not the way I like it, because it's a potion. Personally, it's usually when you get to me. I know a lot of people, it's whenever you get one Pokeball, but to me, it's whenever you get handed off the Pokeballs, when you're officially supposed to get them. That's usually the start of the Nuzlocke, because, like, only having one Pokemon. Like, Pokeball, like, that's not fair. You guys, you know, I'm sure you guys understand where I'm coming from. That's just not a thing, you know, I, I, I just, not, I don't play that way. Okay, but well, Radita, Radita wouldn't be terrible, I guess. It'd be definitely better than the uh, Sentry. I'm just gonna grind this thing for a little bit of XP, especially since I got the potion right now. I hate wasting potions on stuff like that, but at the same time, I just kinda wanna get through a little bit. You're tail whipping me multiple times and you're still faster than me? That's the only issue with Empor uh, Emporion, that's what it is. Because it's Emperor and Emporion. Okay, but you speed time with the Red Bull 3, Radita? Really? Like, I, I wish you were faster. Oh yeah, Nature, that's what I was thinking of. Um, yes, Pokemon, yes! Emperor! Um, summary. Yes. I know it's a unique name. Um, relax nature. Is that neutral? I'm pretty sure that's neutral. I think I think that's what it said too. I, I think it gives you the blue red indicator as well when it's not. That's pretty solid. I'll take a neutral nature. I mean no, it's neutral. A rot? I would love a rot, man! Could you imagine how good a rot Okay, Torrent! Oh, you you have trace, okay. Are you gonna teleport away from me? Oh no, you're just growling me. Okay, then. How do you growl, Ross? That's what I'm trying to figure out. You do not look like you growl, and if you did, it'd look really weird. Print, though. That's how we do. But a Ross would be amazing to have. Could you imagine having a Gardevoir late in game? That would be amazing. That would help me out so much, especially with an Orion. That's such a good complement to one another, almost. Kind of. Do they have fairy types in this game now? I don't know. That would be interesting if they had fairy types now. Alright. Kill this sentry because I do not want to see you again in here. Scratch, I must have added four. That does more than I thought it would. Okay. Like, how do you do four and how does a, you know, level... How do you do almost as much damage as a level two Pikachu when I was level five? That doesn't make any sense. Alright. Bubble. Yes, thank you. That's what I was hoping for. Alright, level eight. Now I can just kind of carry on my way and start running away from things. Okay, so what's in here? How are you? Welcome to Choco Town. Okay, that's all you need. Um, alright, Pokemon Center. I need to heal up. I will do that. Alright, hello, Nurse Joy. Hello, and welcome to Pokemon Center. We restore your tired Pokemon to full health. Would you like to rest your Pokemon? Yes! Okay, I will take your Pokemon for a few seconds. Thank you for waiting. Uh, we've restored your Pokemon to full health. We hope to see you again. Okay, cool. What about you? What are you doing? Choco Town is a great place for the elderly to relax and enjoy life. It's so calm here. Okay. So it's calming for you. Alright then. Um, it doesn't seem like anything else is interesting in here. Except my PCs right there. Um, and nothing else. I want to keep going until we can kind of get to the Nuzlocke area. I know. Uh, I don't know how long these videos are going to be, but I want to kind of push on for a little bit longer. Um, just to see what's going on. Uh, are you going to give me anything? Nope. He might even give you a TM. Okay, if I high Pokemon happiness, does that return? Do you give me a return? Okay, uh, same Pokemon, of course. Your Pokemon is even neither happy nor sad. This is on the balance. Okay, well, then you ain't gonna give me no return, is you? Is it return? And what's the other move? My bad. No, I don't wanna go back in there. What's the opposite of return? It's like, um, I can't remember the name of it. But I know they are, there's an opposite for when they're mad at you, and it's so pointless because every time you kill a Pokemon with it, it just gets even better. Okay, statue of Mew. I would love Mew at some point in time. I would 100% take a Mew. I don't feel like talking to any of you right now. I just want to move on and get to what I needed to do. Okay, what what are you doing though? How about y'all up here? Nobody passes through here. Go somewhere else instead. Okay, well, I'm sure you open up at some point in time. Okay, well, how are you doing, good sir? And here, all right, you're gonna give me the Pokedex, I'm guessing. Yes, Inventor. If I told you once, I've told you a thousand times. Do not disturb me while I'm working. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you were one of my pestering aides. You'll be Z Rock, correct? Professor Willis sent me. 
short email a while ago. But now I'll have your Pokédex. Here you go. Take the Pokédex, such a shiny, bright color. Here, take these as well, as you can sort of get to help you fill out the Pokédex entries. Okay. Yes, okay, the Pokéball is the Nuzlocke has started now. And that is extremely scary. Do you mind if you use favor? There are some wonderful rooms in the Milkshake Swamp that are like you deserve. But I feel like you've been much safer with an escort. Would you mind um, coming with me? The entrance to the swamp is north of the town. I'll be seeing you there. See you soon. Okay, well, great. I will see you in a second, too. Because I'm gonna just go that right way, I guess. I'm guessing it's where those orange guys were, uh, blocking it off initially. Alright, start booking your way. Okay. Hello! You rock! You won't believe me, but these guys won't let me get into the Mookshi Swamp. Nobody. Uh, oh, these are grunts? Okay, let me give them. Nobody enters the swamp when, uh. What? I don't know. Nobody enters the swamp without going. Uh, nobody enters the swamp, go do something else instead. Still, still, pl uh, still playing on instant travels, Team Fusion. I never thought I'd be still so low. I have no idea who that is, so I'm just. Oh, you look like. You look so pretentious right now. I've already run off to the, uh, the rest of the gang in the swamp already, so you have no reason to stay. Oh, so, uh, here, stay here. Of course, if you have any need to pro protest, my drag guy is ditching, itching for a Dark Rye, why did I say drag guy? Dark Rye? You have a Dark Rye? Please tell me I don't battle you anytime soon. Uh, our objectives here are complete. We'll be taking our leave now. Oh, uh, it'll take me a while to get a voice for them. Um, did those grunts harm you? No, thank goodness. I'm sorry. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Blake, and I'm a member of the Tuna Tun Elite Four. I've taken it upon myself to protect travelers such as you at any expense. Just out of curiosity, why are you both going to the Milkshake Swamp? It's not exactly the most fun place to be. I was curious about some. Oh, I, I was curious about some. Of, I was curious about some of the room, rooms in the swamp. Zirok was making an escort uh, to escort me to them. I was in case any wild Pokemon attack. I don't have any Pokemon, you see. Team Fusion, those men preventing you from entering the swamp were poking around in the same room, those same rooms. Allow me to escort them myself to make sure I frighten them all off. I'm sure Z-Rock wouldn't want, uh, I'm sure Z-Rock wouldn't want to hang around with, with the two adults anyways. You've just begun your as a trainer. Continue to keep striving for greatness and the rest assured they'll come true. One day, we may even battle. I'm sure we will and I will beat you. And, like, after the sixth time you beat me. Uh, come inventor, uh, come inventor. Scientific exploration awaits. Okay? See ya! Alright, wait, you're... Okay, cool! Uh, I guess you just decided not to go in. He's a little scared. Milkshake Swamp. You know what? I'm not gonna go in the Milkshake Swamp. I'm gonna run down, I'm gonna grab this encounter to the left of us, and then I'm gonna end the episode after that. Because I want a Pokemon. Oh wait, is this? Hold on. Chaco Town. No. Is I was just trying to see if um see if the possibly Chaco Town had a little bit of grass that I could catch a Pokemon in, but I guess not. Alright, let's see what we got. Please be the sand shoe and just not the centret. A Bucciana. Okay, that's all right. I'll, you know, it's okay. It's all right. It's a sol it's a solid Pokemon. It's not bad for early game. Oh my goodness, that did a lot more than I thought it was going to. No, don't do that. Um, but it's not, of course, a Bucciana is not great whatsoever. Thank you for ten Pokeballs. Um, I enjoy that. It's usually, of course, it's usually five. All right, that should catch you within this one or the next one. Should, should catch. Thank you, Puchiana first try. There we go. We got ourselves a female Puchiana. Well, I will call you, um, I guess, alright. I have three dogs. Which one, do, I have three female dogs. Which, which one is, represents you the most? Huh. The dog that's next to me is Lola. She's the one, uh, always around me. And then I got a diamond and a scout. And I'm gonna call you Scout, because your face is dirty. So, I can imagine my doll getting super dirty and going into the mud and just screwing it all up and us getting upset because, obviously, she decides to mess herself up. So, I'm going to call you Scout. Um, even though she's the smallest of our dogs, she does act like the biggest, so it works out. So, it, um, okay, yep, there we go. We got Scout now. So, we got, uh, so now we have Emperor and Scout, and that is where I'm going to end off this episode. I am so excited, I really am excited to get into this. I might level up uh, the Puchiana off screen a little bit just to get him a little bit closer to, uh, I don't know, probably not, probably not yet. Okay, I'll take a few, a few seconds, I'll probably just the XP share on him and we'll move on our way. But, I'm going to go right here, and 
I think this is going to be where we end off this episode. I am so happy to be doing this. I'm so happy to be playing a Pokemon game. And I think this will be a lot of fun. I really do. So, what I'm going to say is, um, this is, of course, going to be every other day. Just like with Deus Ex, just complimenting that. So, yeah, I don't know how long this game is, too. This might be a really, I think it's a really long game. So this could potentially be a series we do for a while, a few months at least. I think, maybe at least two months. I don't know, I'm not quite sure, but I think it'll be a couple months at least. So, thank you all so much for watching this video. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed and are excited for this new series. It is greatly appreciated. And I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.